Mary Russell and Sherlock Holmes in The Game by Laurie R. King. What has happened, Mycroft? Holmes asked. By way of answer, the big man reached inside the folds of his voluminous silken dressing gown and pulled out a flat oilskin wrapped packet about three inches square. This came into my hands ten hours ago. The stained document before me seemed to be a soldier's clearance certificate for a K-something Omeara or Omara. The second document concerned the same soldier, whose last name now appeared to be O'Hara, and represented his original enlistment. The third was a birth certificate for a child born in some place called Ferocipur in the year 1875. His father's name clarified the difficulties of the K-something from the other forms. Kimball. I looked up, hoping for an explanation, only to find both sets of Grey Holmes' eyes locked expectantly onto me. How long, I wondered, before I stopped feeling like some slow student, facing her disappointed headmistress? I'm sorry, I began, and then I paused, my mind catching at last on a faint sense of familiarity. Kimball and O'Hara. Add to that a town that could only be in India. No, oh no, the book was just a children's adventure tale. I'm sorry, I repeated, only where before it had connoted apology. This time it was tinged with outrage. This doesn't have anything to do with Kim, does it? The Kipling book? You've read it? Mycroft asked. Of course I've read it. Good, that saves some explaining. I believe this to be his amulet case. He's real, then? Kipling's boy? As real as I am, said Sherlock Holmes. 